hope for Peter. Mr. Peter Engelbrecht, age 33, started experiencing unbearable pain one Saturday afternoon. He decided to visit the doctor because the pain wouldn't go away. The doctor conducted a sonar and tests and discovered that his gallbladder was causing problems and that it needed to be removed immediately. Mr. Peter was admitted on the 23rd of October 2023 for a gallbladder laparoscopic cholecystectomy operation at Parkland Hospital in Springs. The operation lasted approximately three hours. The doctor informed Mr. Peter's wife immediately after the surgery that Peter was very ill and that the gallbladder had poisoned his body. The surgery was successful and the doctor said he would be okay. He was in the hospital for four days and were discharged on the 27th of October 2023. He was coping well after the operation until the 29th of October, just before 5 o'clock in the morning, Mr. Peter started experiencing severe pain with a strong pain in his shoulder. He couldn't breathe. His wife rushed him to the nearest hospital, Swikerbosrand in Heidelberg, he was immediately assisted in the emergency room. The doctor who performed Mr. Peter's surgery was immediately informed by the hospital, and it was recommended that the nurses conduct blood tests. The blood tests were performed, and the results were received about an hour later. The blood tests indicated that something was wrong with Mr. Peter's liver. The doctor promptly readmitted him due to complications after the surgery. After he was readmitted, the nurses administered antibiotics and pain medication through the drips. He was also put on oxygen throughout the way because his oxygen levels were very low. The following morning around 1 o'clock, Mr. Peter experienced severe pain again and ended up lying on the floor as he couldn't bear the pain on the hospital bed any longer. The hospital immediately called the doctor, and Mr. Peter was moved to the ICU, intensive care unit, based on the doctor's instructions. Mr. Peter's wife called the doctor the next day to inquire about what was happening and what he intended to do because Mr. Peter could no longer endure the pain. The doctor stated that the medication wasn't effective for him because they hadn't yet determined the cause, and that Mr. Peter needed to undergo an ultrasound and CT scan, as well and further blood tests. He was in a lot of pain for a few days. The hospital conducted the ultrasound, which revealed that his liver functions were elevated, and the CT scan indicated that his pancreas inflammation count was high. After receiving the test results, Mr. Peter received the necessary treatment and started feeling better. The doctor mentioned that there would be no need for another surgery. Mr. Peter was subsequently moved back to the general ward and was discharged after he was out of danger. Mr. Peter is scheduled to see the doctor for a checkup next Wednesday, November 8, 2023. Where does the fundraising come in? Mr. Peter doesn't have medical insurance. Thanks to his employer, they assisted with some of the immediate expenses that had to be paid to the hospital so that he could receive treatment in the private hospital. Mr. Peter is left with a significant amount that need to be repaid to his employer, as well as additional costs that he still owes to the hospital. Unfortunately, Mr. Peter and his family are unable to stay afloat with this large amount of expenses, which is why they need funds to cover his medical expenses. Thanks to those who have donated, it is greatly appreciated. Every bit makes a difference.